Sweden, home to hot blondes, dead Vikings, and the Swedish chef. Now, add another thing to this list. Sweden is now the proud owner of the title, the rape capital of Europe. Score! Sweden has always had a reputation of being a harmonious and liberal society. This image has been shattered as rape has skyrocketed over the past five years. At the same time, Sweden has been going through a revolutionary demographic shift that has seen the country take in more refugees from Islamic countries than any Western nation in the world. This immigration has led to culture clashes and to enclaves of self-contained societies across Sweden. This is Annika Henroth Rostein. She's a Swedish journalist who has extensively covered the Middle Eastern migration into Sweden. What we have is, first of all, a very, a, a Swedish culture. Then we bring in, last, like last year, 190,000 people that come from a very different culture, a culture that isn't liberal, that has radically different views on women, on sexuality, on gender, on all of these things. There's an explosion. Yeah, you, it, it will be clashes. This is Rinkby, a leafy northern suburb of Stockholm, also a completely Islamic area. The police have said this is a complete no-go for them and for journalists. Here, a 60 Minutes crew from Australia is attacked while doing a story on Rinkby. In order to come here and to prosper, you have to adapt to that culture. And that, what we're doing in Europe is the complete opposite. They are saying, how can we adapt to you? Do you think that Sweden has a responsibility to adapt to the immigrants' culture coming in? Definitely. Should a, a woman, when they come here, dress, you know, modestly, you know, with pants and with, with sleeves? Is that important? It is our culture. If you come to Rinkeby, uh, obviously, everywhere in Sweden is a dress code, you know. I got a Swedish girlfriend. Sometimes I say, we go to Rinkeby, is scared. Right. It's scary. Is it dangerous here sometimes? Mm, sometimes, yeah. We found out exactly how dangerous when while we were setting up a shoot at a neighboring location, we were approached by five men and told to leave. While my crew took off, I stayed to simply ask why we had to leave. Because I was still wired, we had the sound of what happened next. How come it's a problem to, uh, to film here? I don't want to be filmed. I know, but why? What's the... What's the why? I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want to. Spawn, you know? But why? why let me see. Why? Let me see. 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 I'm not filming see. anything. Look, look. Show me. Show me what you got. Let go of me. Show me what you got. No, no. Yeah. no. Show let, me, you fucking Let go, I'll show you. I don't want your phone. Show me. Let go, I'll show I was not the first person assaulted by gangs of immigrants, nor will I be the last. But women are taking the brunt of the explosion of violence across Sweden. When I went to a police station, I noticed that the vast majority of the people waiting to report a crime were women. Later, the police officer who I met with told me that most were there to report rape. These attacks are happening across Sweden, including a rash of rapes at music festivals. Over the past two years, dozens of young women, some as young as 12, were raped at these festivals across Sweden by hundreds of young immigrants. They use the tactic where dozens of men surround one or more girls in circles. While the men in the inner circle sexually attacks their victims, the outer circle distracts and keeps out anyone who would stop it. The attacks have become so common that some bands, most notably Mumford & Sons, refuse to play in Sweden. This has happened multiple times and to multiple victims. Then the issue is that when it is reported, this was widely known by the people who were there, the police that was on the scene, but then it was, they put the lid on it. So we... They covered it up. They covered it up. So we didn't learn about this until much, much later. While the police have told me that the majority of the people that they arrest for rape are from Islamic backgrounds, Bra, the official keeper of Swedish crime statistics, curiously dropped the background of those arrested from the official statistics. The government has failed to recognize that it's made a huge mistake. And the, the European Union has failed 
to recognize that it's made a huge mistake. And we have this free movement and the movement, of course, is flowing toward the country with the most generous social benefit system. The type of benefits that immigrants receive in Sweden are significant and are all encompassing and include housing, food, education and additional cash. Does the government give enough to, to the immigrants? Yeah. Everything is enough. This good world here. Yeah, life is good here. Yes, Better. Life is good. Better here. They give me a lot. They give me a house, room, uh, uh, my school. All the Swiss All government pay, pays for it. While the staggering increase in rape has made some news, this phenomenon has been coupled with a shocking and less widely reported increase in violent crime in general. Over the past couple of years, several dangerous immigrant riots have broken out and shootings across Sweden have increased sharply. Anders Gorazin and Jacob Ekstrom are veteran and decorated policemen who have decades of experience and are tasked with policing within the immigrant community. Has there been an increase in violence and crime here in Sweden? More violence and uh, harder violence with uh, guns and... What type of weapons are you guys seeing on the streets? You can see Kalashnikovs hand grenades from the east, guns, handguns, everything you can find in Afghanistan, you can find here. Doesn't Sweden have very strict gun laws? For sure, you know, and, and we get, all the time we get new laws about guns, uh, tied it up more. Uh, and um, I, think it's, I think it's good, but you know, the, the, the violence increased anyway. This is a former police station, which had to be moved a couple of years ago. Now the police will tell you that it simply became too unsafe for them to have a full-time presence here. This man has been playing the accordion for several years trying to bring some musical cheer to the suburb. Yet, he has faced numerous attacks. My, my music, my music, and the people, boo, 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 the police, but the police. You need, you need the police here? Yeah, it's the police, the, go back the police here. Would you go as far as to say that these no-go areas are essentially states within a state? Yeah, most of the no-go areas is like that. Are there areas where there, if you're pursuing uh, somebody, where you'll simply stop and not pursue them once they get into this no-go area? Yeah. yeah. If uh, the police is chasing uh, uh, another car for some kind of crime, if they reach uh, what we call no areas, the police wouldn't go after it. Do you see the violence really spreading across Sweden into the cities? At least one or two times a week. And, and let's say five years ago, how often would you say it was? No. Three Tw times a year. <laughs> really? The increase in this, in this kind of crime is exponential. I think we caught, uh, caught uh, off guard. We didn't uh, expect it to be so so much uh, so much increase. Do you think there's a deliberate attempt to cover up these type of crimes? Rather than uh, that, they they don't want to uh, seem racist. Is there a sort of sensitivity, and or people scared that if you identify who's committing these type of crimes, that you could be labeled a racist? Of course, I think this is. Uh, these issues make people nervous all over the world, not only even in Sweden. It make me nervous as well. What if we're talking about that? Because you don't want to be called racist. No, no. This, you know, racist card is very hard to, 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 uh, to deal with. You know, of course, especially if you are blonde like me. And now to add to these woes, Sweden has had dozens of people go to fight for ISIS, and they're starting to come back. Sweden has had its first Islamic terrorist attack. Do you think the sexual assault problem is an Islamic problem or, or no, not? No, no, no. I think it's um, a general problem among among men. Yeah, the problem isn't like this culture or that culture. The problem is male culture. I don't think the immigrant is the problem. No, it's not. Like. That's just a, like a tiny, tiny bit of the problem, and like when that happen happens, like it's because we didn't like uh, bring uh, bring them in in the right way. And I don't see that connection at all. And you don't. I would very much like to see the evidence of such a connection. Do you think it's it's almost racist to make that connection? Yes, I think so. Is there a point where you think that 
Sweden has done too much to bring people in, or do you think there's... No, there is no too much in helping people. And is there a limit, do you think, to how many immigrants Sweden can take? No, no. Hi, I'm Alicia Krauss, Director of Outreach here at PragerU. To have this video reach more people, please consider a donation below.